Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at an airplane's air conditioning system and the types of air conditioning systems. Why is an air conditioning system needed in an aircraft? An air conditioning system in an aircraft is responsible for maintaining a controlled temperature in the cabin and the cockpit for the comfort of people on board the aircraft. This system controls the temperature, humidity, and the quality of the air inside the aircraft. The Types of Air Conditioning Systems Depending on the type of aircraft, there are different types of air conditioning systems that may be installed. The major types are Air Cycle Air Conditioning, Vapor Cycle Air Conditioning. Let's look at these in more detail. Working of Air Cycle Air Conditioning System This system requires air, which is taken from the aircraft engines or the APU. This is called as bleed air. This air is sent through an air cycle machine or ACM. The ACM consists of a heat exchanger and a compressor turbine unit. The bleed air initially flows through a heat exchanger where the temperature is reduced. The air then flows through a compressor, where the pressure and temperature increase. The air is then sent through another heat exchanger, where the temperature is reduced. This air flows across a turbine, where the pressure and temperature decrease. This cold air would be sent to a mixer duct, and then distributed inside the aircraft. The air from the air cycle machine, may be mixed with hot air, to adjust the cabin temperature. A water separator will also be installed to remove moisture from the air due to condensation effects. Now, let's look at the vapor cycle air conditioning system. This system uses a refrigerant in a closed loop for cooling the air inside the aircraft. Initially, let's consider the refrigerant in the closed loop in the reservoir. Here, the refrigerant is in the liquid state. The refrigerant flows through an expansion valve, which allows only a small quantity of refrigerant to flow through. The refrigerant then flows through a radiator-type assembly called the evaporator. A fan blows cabin air across the evaporator. The refrigerant absorbs the heat and changes from liquid to vapor state. The cabin air temperature reduces significantly in this process. This is the cold-conditioned air supplied in the aircraft. The gaseous refrigerant is collected by a compressor. The pressure and temperature of the refrigerant increases. This refrigerant now flows through a condenser. The condenser is another radiator. Here the cold outside air flows across the radiator. In this cycle, the heat is transferred from the refrigerant to the ambient air. The refrigerant cools down and changes back to liquid state and flows to the reservoir. This becomes the closed-loop vapor cycle air conditioning system. Normally, the air cycle air conditioning system is found on turbine engine aircraft, and the vapor cycle air conditioning system is found on piston engine aircraft and a few turbine engine aircraft as well. The air cycle air conditioning air is used for maintaining or increasing the cabin pressure, which means it assists the pressurization system. However, the vapor cycle air conditioning does not assist the pressurization system. That's all for my video on the types of air conditioning systems. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share, subscribe, and you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.